Bench a clinical 4 0 win. You must be pleased. Yeah, delighted. And, um, you know, you, you, we're facing a side that uh, I think was third till midweek. Yeah. Five points behind us, but they've played Royston, we haven't. So it was a cliche six pointer. I think they've only lost one in 12. And lots of people told me how good the side they are. And um, I thought the scoreline doesn't flatter us at all. I thought it was a, an excellent first 30 minutes. I thought we stepped up a little bit just before half time. Got in, reorganised, went again, as we always do, telling them the, the best way at 2-0 is to push forward and keep doing the right things. And, you know, besides two free kicks, which we had to put our bodies on the line for, I, I don't think really we've had anything massively defensive to do. And, you know, we've then picked them off and we've hit the post twice as well. Um, and it was, you know, overall an excellent performance with the only caveat, obviously, the, the injury to CJ, which we'll have to wait and see. So that leads us... Um, Nicely onto a little game on Tuesday night. And a clean sheet for Aaron Buffton as well. Yeah, and as I said, defensively we were much better today. Um, you know, quite simply, we knew that this was a, a massive game. We've been drilling it into the players all week. You know, what a big, big game this is. You know, whether we're pushing for the playoffs or whether we're even considering trying to challenge Royston. You know, this was a massive game to try and put a gap between us and others in the playoffs. You know, it's it's so vital in this league the way that playoffs are set up, and we've only got 16 games left that um, we finish as high as we possibly can and that's not giving up on anything but you know we're realistic around here and um, you know it, it's, it's, it's a very big win for us um, and defensively we worked so much harder against a side that we knew was really decent so um, all round delighted with that and nice for once to put a team away properly when you know we perhaps other weeks have, have been hanging on a little bit but I think the moment we, we blocked that one great chance they had on the line from a free kick which we shouldn't have given away and that, that was a key moment in the game because if they'd scored then then you know again the players might have started to think about what was going on and the nonsense that gets written on websites and it gets in people's minds you know and you know we're quite a young bunch really and uh, you know the fact that our bodies were on the line and, and, and kept it at 2-0 and then we went on and, and, and got the result that overall I think we thoroughly deserved. More goals for Perry Coles, Nick Cardini and Sam Shaban. You must be pleased with them all. We, we, we know we can score goals. Defensively, we've been a bit hit and miss. Um, you know, there'll be more coming out about the budget cuts that we've done in this last week. That will finish off in the next few days. I think the response from the dressing room when I sat down with them on Tuesday at training was excellent. We're not quite finished there yet. We've managed to get young George in for a couple of games. We're just going to see. It was an option that came to us today, just for a couple of games. Uh, to strengthen us. We didn't know how Eddie Smith was going to react and I, I, I absolutely support the fact he got man of the match. You know, he was desperate to stay on really, but you know the reality is is he's played 30 minutes of football in three and a half months and on a heavy pitch and the, the job was done. So you know ultimately we've got a very, very big game on Tuesday night. Um, we're massive underdogs, we can accept that. Uh, you know, I've got a, a, a lot of credit for Royston. They've done a fabulous job to win whatever it is, 15 out of 16. Um, is phenomenal um, and we're second to them at the moment and they're rightfully big favourites on their patch they've beaten Conference South sides on their patch but uh, I think when they see that scoreline today they'll be excited as much as we are excited it's a, it's a big big game um, and ultimately we'll, we'll try and get up there in a reasonable amount of time it won't be easy on a Tuesday night we know they're incredibly physical and they push it to the limits and We'll give it everything we've got, you know, we'll have a look at CJ and it, we're, we're looking forward to it. And it's, it's one of those that, you know, we're financially and it can't touch what they're trying to do. And, you know, we're doing everything we can off the pitch, the, the board I know are, we're giving away food and everything else. And, you know, we've, we've just got to go there and be positive. We've had a very big win today. I said it to the players before today. I, I really felt that today was a lot more important than Tuesday. And, you know, we've got to be realistic. We've always said what we're trying to achieve this season with where we are as a football club, with the finances. Um, and we can go to Royston and you know just give it a go and then we've got the Fleet Derby the week after that which is another very difficult game I know Fleet have pushed Royston all the way today so exciting games that the players should embrace and we should embrace as a club and um, we'll look forward to. Well done, Thanks very much, cheers, cheers. fellas.